We are here at Lauder Hill, American Thrift for their sale, 50% off red, green, and purple. These are interesting. They look like strawberries. Not finding any gems in here. These are cute little flower pots. They're missing some of their stones though. No, not real turquoise. So remember, these are my favorite shelves and they are empty. So when you see empty shelves though, be sure that they will be stocking these very soon. So I'm not actually sad about that. Today, I'm gonna go all the way to the back to the hard goods on the shelves because the aisles look kind of cluttered and there seems to be less people back here right now. So let's start all the way in the back. Let's look at this rack over here and see if there's anything interesting for us to pick up and sell for profit. Really love this vase because I love tulips, but I think it's Hallmark, although it feels like a hall. Oh, that's some Bridget Hag. I think that's how you say her name. Pottery here. And that's steel for $4.99. Signed right here. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in my cart. I don't see anything wrong with it now. I'm not looking closely. Oh, these monkeys are super cute. This one is lowering a basket. The other one has like fruit in his hands. Shelf setters, how adorable, they're resin. <laughs> Not sure about this piece though. Don't know how vintage that is, I don't think it is. Definitely not, $5.99 a piece. I'm not sure that I wanna pick that up for that much, so. But it's cool, it's a cool decorative piece. This is Odagiri, this is a mirror. And for a second there, I thought these were copper boots, but they're not. They're resin made to look like copper. That would have been really neat, though, if that was copper. I would have totally picked that up. And the ceramic cat tape dispenser is fantastic, but it's all chipped up. <laughs> this is kind of an interesting piece. It's cute. The tape is like he's playing with the yarn. That's cool. I've seen this angel before. Um, she's kind of cute. I'm trying to stay away from angels. It's a music box, but kind of thing, but I don't, um, I have a lot of music boxes and cherubs and they're just not really selling. Just kind of looking around. It's always very overwhelming when you come here because there's so many things to look at. This is a hand painted wood carved cat. Very cool. He's holding a block. These are Fitz and Floyd. I see it chip back there. I might pick them up because I like them. But I, it's bothering me a bit. I don't think so. Probably not. And I think this one here playing the flute. The flute is like broken off. These are a couple of Indiana Glass Crystal Ice mugs. Sometimes they can sell pretty well. Um, I'm gonna leave these though. Project Peace Bird Bowl. It's kind of nice. Signed by June or soon. Could look, kind of looks like an S. It's cute though, isn't it? Look at the eyelashes. Nose is a little chip there. A little tiki mug here. This one is weird. I don't really like the colors. I don't like the pale green in between the kind of sandy brown or mud. I, I don't like this. I won't pick it up. There's nothing underneath there either that's written. I pick up pieces like this all the time thinking that it's Majolica, but upon closer inspection, I see that there is a whole army of elephants all around lettuce or something. 
Just kidding, it's like leaves. What are you doing over there? One ring for a refill, two rings for a toast, three rings for a taxi. I might regret not taking this hand-built pottery apart and just looking at it, but I'm not gonna take it because I'm not sure what it is. This is candle holder. Back here we have some more figurines. This is a really pretty vase with the swan here and I feel like I've seen it before. I wonder if it's a Costa Boda. I don't see any marking on it. I'm gonna leave it because it's $20. Fourteen dollars. It's not on sale, but he's really different. Do you want me to get him? No. I don't know that I want to pay fourteen dollars for him. I don't think he's it's worth just, fourteen. It's cute though, but no. Oh, look at these! What is this? Like a wine holder? There are two turtles dancing. Mm. That's cool. You know, I feel bad when things things are here for too long because I didn't see this broken. Look, and now it's broken. Look. Oh yeah. You know, it's sad. Whoa. I don't want to go to school. He's kind of neat, but um, I think he's kind of modern. I think he's resin made to look like. Oh, Adam, Adam, I need help. That I need, that vase. Yeah, yeah, that's Tanala. Please don't be broken. It's like wood too, it's not what I was thinking. Never mind. I think these might be worth it. I have a lot of ruby red glasses. Some of them can be very valuable. Um, some Anchor Hawking sells pretty well for me, especially if they are rippled. But make sure you visit antique malls and just see the ones that are actually being sold to get an idea of which ones are popular and what to price them at. Like I know I've sold these before. I found a set of six for 99 cents each and I flipped it for about $40, but it came to be like about $30 because of Mercari fees. this cup. Czech Republic it says at the bottom. Let me check. <laughs> An interesting cup. Should I get it? No. I don't know anything about it. What kind of scene did it have? Can't even tell. Wow. Look at these plates. They're not well made. Wow, I like this lamp base. I can't tell if it's like modern. Look, this is not Polish, it's Portuguese. What is that? These match what, I, what my dad has. Oh yeah, I hate those plates. I don't like those plates y'all have. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Wow, look at this. And it's modern. Oh, Bomb Brothers. But isn't that beautiful? Look at that. It looks like a tablecloth. Oh, these are... Oh my god, look at this. These are Dansk. Remember those dance plates I sold? Let's just tape pop these in here and we'll check. 
Oh, it's missing a little spoon. Oh, fitting room. Caramos. Capa de Monte. We'll have to check this also. We checked them. That's it. Well, this is a strange texture. It's like clay, but yet it feels like resin, mud. <laughs> it's like a weird whale. Let's look over here. There's that daisy plate. Oh, this is kind of cute. Feel the need to buy these but I don't know they're two happy crab um, things with their tags still <laughs> ornaments for the Christmas it's, in July it's cute but no it yeah I won't buy it the crabs are always happy we noticed that it's really cute I know It looks like a Godinger pineapple candle holder. Take it. If you see another one. No. But people silly. like weird. No. No. Sorry. <laughs> what Adam meant earlier when he said the crabs are always happy is that every time we see like a crab shack or a crab restaurant or whatever, the crabs, the characters always look like they're so happy with fork and knives in their hands like, eat me. So we, we, we see it all the time. This is screaming Lady Gaga. This is kind of neat. Let's see, $10.99. That is a broken wrist, so no. I'm pretty sure I have a box with the same type of design, but oh, the, the wood carving in the back is um, really beautiful. $3.99. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm trying so hard to talk directly into the microphone because the music is so loud here. Uh, this is a brass candelabra. I don't know how to feel about candelabras. I have never actually sold one, but I think they're so beautiful. They remind me of Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll pop this one in my cart and we'll see about it. There's just so many of them. Look at swizzles. This looks like a very vintage syrup dispenser. Maple syrup dispenser. Uh, put it in here and we'll look that up. Oh man, this is too bad because fairies are very relevant right now. And they want... $17 for them. Oh. It's a giant key. Yeah. It's a giant key. That's all it is. I wonder where the door is. You want to learn something about glass? Yeah. When, first of all, when you pick it up, does that feel cheap to you? A little bit. Okay, anytime you see this up here like this, it's mm -hmm. not finely shaped oh, in here. Yeah. That's cheap. Yeah, and it's chipped too. I well, mean. yeah, but I mean, it, yeah. I bet you that's, that's made know. in China. Actually, it's not. We're just designs China. Yeah. You learn something new every day. Wow, oh, this is really. Oh, I thought it was just like without the base. Oh, check it out. It's uh, from clearance. It's really pretty. $4.99. Yeah, I mean, I'll get it just because I think you can sell them I'm not sure. Together. They feel kind of cheap. Look at this guy. He has a five head. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, Jim Shore. <laughs> These things sell like crazy. It's an uh, avatar and it's sealed. Looks like it's never been opened. So this is a really cool piece, Capitamante little thing here. See, it has the Napoleon, uh, I think it's called Napoleon uh, Capitamonte sign, Caramos. But for $7, I don't think it's worth much. It sold for $15 on eBay recently. So unfortunately, I'm going to leave it. It does have a couple of chips too that I'm unhappy with. So uh, it's nice though. I was definitely going to pick up this Bridget Hyde pottery here, but, and I thought, wow, I got really lucky. You know, it's $4.99 and it's signed, but sure enough, the leaf is broken. So, unfortunately, I'm going to leave this piece behind. So this is a very mid-century modern syrup glass pitcher here. Uh, it is only $1.99, but unfortunately, it's not selling very well on eBay. I see it. Um, some of it is like five dollars some of them sold for 30. i just don't want to take a gamble on something that's ubiquitous speaking of ubiquitous there's just too many of these candelabras they wrote directly on the felt they don't know who this company is although i really like it i'm gonna leave this one behind i am gonna definitely pick these up they're super mcm hand painted wood hand carved they're just kind of neat have to clean out the um, candle gunk but I mean for $3.99 I really quite like them. Although I really really love this I actually have a wooden box with the same design on it. This I noticed that is missing one of these section things which isn't really entirely a big deal because you could just remove this also um, and you know the back part is just so beautiful it's $3.99 but I am gonna leave it because it isn't selling for more than like $10. I wanted to believe these dance, the creamer and the sugar bowl, was worth something because I've gotten lucky with dance plates before. Unfortunately, these are only being sold for about $10. I mean, just the creamer, and it doesn't show that it actually has been sold. So I'm just going to not take a gamble on these. They're called Dance Flora Bayberry Designs, so but they are pretty. And plus, this one was missing the spoon. Also, something that we are not going to take a gamble on are these beautiful white ceramic owl bookends because... I can't find these exact ones on eBay, so I just typed in white ceramic owl bookends, and this is what I came up with. And so I just wanted to take a gamble on it because it's just, they're not vintage either. They're just too perfect. And they may be, see it look, they may just, it says made in China underneath all that. So I'm not sure about these. They could just be like big lot pieces and they do feel quite cheap. So we're definitely gonna leave these behind. I think that they were, nine dollars anyways that won't leave a lot of room to pop it if i sell it for 20 and i don't think i can even get 20 out of it look at this look at this little purse oh my gosh can, let's open it it really caught my eye oh oh my god i love it oh i may have to get it adam are you gonna use it yeah look it's so cute oh sorry isn't it super cute? Thank you. You're welcome. Be careful back there. <laughs> so I looked this up online and I don't know the brand, but it looks like it's selling for about $17. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up anyway because although it probably is slightly modern, I don't know, maybe 90s, I don't know. Um, it's just really cute. That would be really great for my collection. Well, Adam and I had a really good time at American Thrift yet again. Can't wait for them to stock those shelves back there. I know they will soon. Adam and I are probably gonna get out of town this weekend and bring you guys something really cool on YouTube. So we're not sure where we're headed yet, but we might be hitting up Orlando. We really are looking for some vintage Disney items at thrift stores. And we figured if we go close to Disney World, we may get lucky. New $13 pay rate, cashier and floor associates. Looks like they're hiring. Oh, it's been a rainy, rainy day. Hey y'all, we really hope you enjoyed this video. If there's anything that you saw as thrift that you'd like to purchase, please just email us at jolieflips at AOL.com. Just describe the item. I will probably remember it. Thank you so much for supporting our small business and we really, really appreciate you. Take care.